Hi, how's it going? Hope you're well. Um, so, in preparation for Vulcanize 2023, it's coming up in early February, I've been focusing a lot on the Vulcan stuff. I've got some stuff going in the background, but um, today I just wanted to make a video on my thoughts. Basically, how long do I think it takes to learn Vulcan? What are some thoughts on learning Vulcan for beginners? How, do, how would I recommend people start? And yeah, those sorts of topics. So to start with, I want to be fully transparent and open about my Vulcan skills. When I started the channel years ago, I was just, I didn't, I was still learning. I was still learning. Um, like I joked with my friends, it's called get into game dev, not already be in game dev. You know what I mean? Um, no, but really, I was just documenting my progress the same way that a diligent student would keep a journal. That was it. It was a learn along with me, especially for the Vulcan stuff. The OpenGL stuff I sort of had experience in already, but the Vulcan stuff I was literally just... Anyway, all this is to say, um, I guess, how long does it take to learn Vulcan? I've been learning on and off, you know, hobby style for about two years or so. And I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm only just now starting to feel confident. Some of that is, I guess I wasn't learning that intensely and um, takes me a long time to learn things. But what I'm trying to say is if you feel like it's difficult and you're having trouble with it, um, that's completely natural. It's fine. You'll probably never stop learning Vulcan. It is a a different skill to be able to deal with for some people some people are fine with it but i often struggle with you know dealing with large amounts of code and seeing the big picture and not getting stuck with the details just my own experience so don't even sweat it if you're having difficulty learning vulcan it's tricky um i guess a few other points vulcan is a little different to OpenGL. So if you're coming in and you just have a little bit of OpenGL experience, I would strongly recommend just sticking with OpenGL and learning that. OpenGL is going to be around, in my opinion, is going to be around forever as at least an educational tool. Definitely, because it's much it's a much easier way to learn graphics programming without worrying about the mechanics of the hardware. Um, but yeah, if you're learning OpenGL and you're at the point where you're drawing triangles, one vertex at a, at a time, that's perfectly fine. Just do that. Just stick with OpenGL. Um, the, the big thing before you transition from OpenGL to Vulkan is you want to start asking yourself a question. You want, you want to start asking yourself, what's wrong with OpenGL? Okay. Vulkan, it's not just OpenGL with more power. There's a certain way of working with it, and you need to get to the point where you get to the boundary of what OpenGL can do before you start to realize how to use Vulkan efficiently. Specifically, I guess, with the techniques that it takes to reduce the number of draw calls to draw the same amount of stuff. You want to start thinking in bulk before you work with Vulkan. Um, as well as that, pace yourself. Okay, so in the early stages, you won't see a lot of progress immediately. There's a famous learning curve. It takes a lot of work to set up the program and get that one triangle on the screen. I understand. I've been there. It takes a lot. And you're not going to see that, that payback right away. So when you're just starting out, it's really important to focus on the concepts. Like in my... Vulcan series. In the early videos, I had a massive focus on printing a lot of things out to the screen as I was seeing it to get that feedback loop to feel like we're making progress. As well as at the end of each session, I would round it out by saying, well, today we did this. It's super important in the early stages. Later on, it's okay. You start to get more of a feel for how the system's working and you see things more immediately. But in the early stages, you have to be thankful for those few lines of code. That you get. Um, and I guess the last thing I want to say, and this is advice that I haven't seen a lot of other people mention, 
I haven't seen anyone mention, and that is, okay, so if you've, you've done OpenGL and you want to step up to Vulkan, if you're finding that transition difficult, if you're finding it intimidating, I would say consider learning WebGPU. Now, the reason for that is that WebGPU uses the same next generation graphics APIs. It sits on top of whatever the host system is running. So it might be running Metal or DirectX 12 or um, Vulkan or something like that. So the concepts are the same. However, because it's abstracting um, several different APIs, the syntax is less strict and the amount of code that you write is less. So you may find that the transition from OpenGL to WebGPU is easier, more gradual, and you will, will still be learning the same concepts, which will then map onto Vulkan. So I think that's sort of training wheels for Vulkan is learning WebGPU. But um, anyway, I mean, that was that's it for now. Have fun. Happy coding. Um, have a great day. Appreciate you guys. And yeah, See you again soon. Bye.